There's that. So like in the diagram in the slide show that you showed us? Yep. So here it is. That's a trough. That's what you've got in front of you. Really beautiful troughs oh, all the way yeah. up that cliff side. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Um, usually, you don't, oh, often, you don't see a nice complete trough. You just right. see a piece of it. So we're looking at the side of the bowl. Um, you're looking at an oblique slice through the through the trough. Okay, so if we were standing on this side, that's where we'd be getting like this. Right? Uh -huh. Like that, maybe like that. But it's not straight down. You can get them straight down. In which mm -hmm. case, there are these nice continuous parallel beds. But you can still identify them as troughs because the forceps that come down, as they hit the bottom, they flatten out and become parallel and merge gradually with the base of the trough. So it comes in, okay. flattens out, and merges. And so check that out. Make sure you can see that happening. And then I will show you the other uh -huh. option. Something that's, it's, it's, it looks like cross-bedding to me. Just look. And then you got that, that, and you got that. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Specifically right there. Yeah, this just looks like cross bed, but that looks really defined. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And how can you tell the difference between cross bed and trough? trough? Well, because these don't continue into one solid, and those do at the bottom, they end. seem like those they all continue like into the layer itself, the yeah. trough. Coming in up here. Go ahead and make it. So, come on up here. Could we say that? Else oh, yeah. This is a tabular planar cross bed. And it, yeah, because instead of, each one of having those? curved forceps, the forceps is like a tabular plane. Oh, yeah. And so at the bottom, it does that. And you can see that uh -huh. right here really nicely. And so that is, for you guys coming up, the other option is called tabular planar cross bedding. Remember I did 2D and 3D dunes? Straight crested and sinuous crested dunes? These are the deposits of straight crested dunes. The troughs are the, cross, cro the deposits of the 3D dunes. And you have this beautiful... The other thing you have here are some nice horizontal beds. They've been tipped by... Um, by te tectonism, but they generally started off flat. So this would be what we call plain bedding, just flat sheets of sand that were laid down. So two, we had 3D, we had trough cross bedding, planar tabular, tabular cross bedding, horizontal planar beds, which are all, it's L and ripples. And that is all the main current cause sedimentary structures. Planar beds, ripples, cross, cross beds, tabular planar cross beds. Those are the four kinds of current creation.